And now we're going to move to the equity section where we're going to have the retained earnings. So we'll do the calculation for retained earnings, which will be the beginning retained earnings, which we will get from the last time's uh, balance sheet. So last period balance sheet, ending retained earnings for last periods, beginning retained earnings for this period. We're going to add to that the net income, which we will, of course, get from the income statement. So there's income. We're going to add that to the retained earnings. Then we're going to subtract that from that the dividends that we paid out. Now, we recorded this in the statement of uh, cash, uh, in, in the cash budget, so, uh, but I won't go back there. So that's where that 10000 is coming from. We budgeted the amount that we're going to pay out, and that will give us the retained earnings. So we've got the 208788 plus the income 43204 minus the 10000 dividends gives us the ending retained earnings of 241992, and that's going to be this item here. Then we're going to have the total stockholders' equity, which will be the 335,000 plus the 241,992, gives us the 576,992. And if we then add up the total liabilities and equity, here's the current uh, liabilities plus the note plus the total equity. So these three are adding up to the 576,999. Uh, I'm sorry, <laughs> these three adding up to the 1,300,040. And of course, the total liabilities and equity will then equal the total assets. And so we are in balance in our budgeted balance sheet.